On October 12, 1868 a German engineer was born. He had a passion for engineering and machines from a very young age. In 1899 he opened his first company to design and build his own automobiles, which later in 1909, he was forced out of his own company by his own board of directors. He then quickly founded a new company, which he named, Audi, that today is one of the biggest car companies. That man was August Horsch and today we're going to tell his story. August Horsch was a man who had a passion for engineering and machines from a young age. Growing up in a small town in Germany, he spent most of his free time tinkering with anything he could get his hands on. He was particularly fascinated by bicycles and would often spend hours disassembling and reassembling them, trying to understand how they worked and how he could improve them. As a teenager, Horsch's love for machines led him to enroll in a technical school to study engineering. He excelled in his studies, and upon graduation, he landed a job as an apprentice at a local factory. It was there that he first became exposed to the world of automobiles and he knew that this was the field he wanted to pursue. After a few years of working in the factory, Horsch decided to move to the city to further his career in the automotive industry. He found a job at a car company where he worked alongside some of the most talented engineers of the time. He was determined to learn as much as possible, and he quickly made a name for himself as a skilled and dedicated engineer. Despite his success, Horsch had bigger aspirations. He had always dreamed of starting his own car company and he knew that if he wanted to make that happen, he would have to take a risk. So, he quit his job, and with the help of some friends, he founded A. Horsch and C. in his hometown of Cologne. It was not an easy journey. Horsch faced many challenges, from lack of investors to limited resources and lack of customers. But Horsch was determined to succeed, and he poured all of his time and energy into perfecting his designs. Finally, in 1904, Horsch's hard work paid off. He unveiled a sleek and powerful car that was unlike anything the world had ever seen. The car was a sensation, and orders began pouring in from all over Europe. With the success of his company, Horsch was able to hire more engineers and expand his factory. He continued to innovate and improve his cars, and by 1908, his company was one of the largest and most successful automakers in Europe. But Horsch's success was short-lived, because in 1909, he was forced out of his own company by his own board of directors. They accused him of mismanagement and financial irregularities, and Horsch was left with no choice but to leave the company he had built from scratch. He quickly founded a new company, which he named Audi, which is Latin for, I hear. And once again he began to design and build cars. He invested in new technologies, such as four-wheel drive and front-wheel drive, and his cars quickly became known for their advanced engineering and superior performance. One of the first cars produced by Audi was the Audi Type A. The Type A was a 10 and 28 horsepower, a two-seater that was powered by a four-cylinder engine. It was a very basic car, but it was reliable and it quickly gained popularity among the German public. During World War I, the German government requisitioned all of the company's factories for the war effort. After the war, the company was left in a difficult position, and it struggled to return to profitability. In 1920, Audi was forced to merge with three other companies, DKW, Horsch, and Wanderer, to form the Auto Union. The Auto Union produced several new models, including the Audi Type P, a luxury car that was powered by a six-cylinder engine. The Type P was well received by critics and it helped establish Audi as a luxury car brand. In 1924, Audi introduced the Type R, a sporty car that was powered by a four-cylinder, 500cc engine. It was intended for use as a race car, and it competed in several competitions, including the famous German Grand Prix. Despite the success of these models, the company struggled to find a foothold in the highly competitive automotive market. This was partly due to the global economic downturn caused by the Great Depression, but it was also due to the company's outdated technology and poor management. During the 1930s, Audi was absorbed by the larger auto union, and the company shifted its focus to producing more affordable, mass-market cars. This strategy was not successful and the company struggled to keep up with the competition. As a result, Audi was forced to rebrand itself as a luxury car manufacturer. In the years leading up to World War II, Audi introduced several new models, 
including the Type SS, a sporty car that was powered by a six-cylinder engine. The Type SS was well received by critics and it helped establish Audi as a luxury car brand once again. However, the advent of war stopped all car production and the Audi factory was used to produce military vehicles instead. Throughout this time, the company struggled to find its place in the automotive market, and it was not able to produce a car that was both critically acclaimed and commercially successful. The company's financial struggles were compounded by the economic downturn of the 1970s. Despite these difficulties, the Audi company continued to innovate, experimenting with new technologies such as the use of fuel injection and turbocharging. They also began to introduce new models such as the Audi 100 and the Audi 80, which would later become some of the company's most popular models. After the introduction of the Audi 100 and the Audi 80 in the 1970s, the Audi company began to see a resurgence in its fortunes. The two models were popular with consumers, helping to establish the company as a major player in the automotive market. In the 1990s, the company introduced the Audi A4 and the Audi A6, both of which were well received by critics and popular with consumers. The A4 in particular became one of the company's most successful models, thanks to its combination of performance, luxury, and value. Audi also has had a long and successful history in motorsports. One of the most notable achievements of Audi in motorsports came in the 1980s, with the introduction of the Audi Quattro. The Quattro was a high-performance sports car that featured advanced four-wheel drive technology, and it quickly established itself as a dominant force in rally racing. The Quattro won numerous championships and helped to establish Audi as a leader in the world of motorsports. In the 2000s, Audi extended its motorsport success by entering the American Le Mans series with its R8 Le Mans prototype race car. Audi achieved great success at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. The company first won the famous endurance race in 2000, and went on to win again in every year from 2000 to 2005. The motorsport success of the R8 LMP also helped to establish the road-going Audi R8 as a high-performance sports car. The R8 was available in both V8 and V10 engine options, and it was praised for its performance, handling, and design. Audi's motorsport success has not been limited to just endurance racing and rally. The company has also found success in touring car racing. The company has competed in various touring car series such as the Deutsche Tourenwagen Masters and the World Touring Car Cup where the company has won numerous championships. In terms of the new electric era, in recent years, Audi has made significant progress in the development and production of EVs. The company has been working on electric and hybrid technology for over a decade. In 2021, the company launched the new e-tron GT. However, despite these efforts, Audi still has a long way to go in terms of electric vehicle sales compared to its competitors. Today, the Audi brand is one of the most recognized and respected in the world. With a market cap of $83 billion by the time this video is made, and August Horsch is remembered as a pioneer in the field of automotive engineering. His passion and dedication to the industry continue to inspire engineers and car enthusiasts all over the world. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked it make sure to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming stories.